a full by Jared Hayne. And Hayne is able to step and he's outside the 30 metre line. Here goes Jared Hayne sprinting down the right touch line. And Mason's his nearest rival. And clear the tarmac. The plane is coming in. Jared Hayne, he put on an in and away. Back on his own 20 metre line. And then ran away from them. One of the things we used to tell our teams on kick chase is to not go down there and try and be a hero on your own, to go down as one unit. And when you chase down on a player like Jared Hayne, you have to make sure you keep defenders between he and the sideline. On the Isuzu D-Max replay, they all just run into him, left foot step, he's only got to beat one player. He only had to beat Uate. There were four defenders there, but he only had to beat one man on the outside. Bang, look at that, left foot step, see you later. And from there, it's just a foot race with the oldest player on the field, Willie Mason, who did a good job to keep Jared a little bit wider. They're giggling at each other. <laughs> but that's a big effort by Big Willie. Watch this left foot step. Get that into you. See that? It was four defenders there. But they didn't work as a team. They didn't communicate. And they just left Uate one-on-one with Jared Hayne. Uate went to sleep, missed his assignment. And Jared Hayne went the distance. And that's what the fans... That's what they come. Benji Marshall kick looks like he's come up with a four pointer for the Tigers. George Tafua did his best. He looked like he was going to put him into the stadium. Well, this is ridiculous. Well, up Tafua. above Tafua, who wasn't playing at him. Look at him fly through the air and put it down. That's. Well, the Rabbitohs will be absolutely beside themselves. And I don't know that Tolman played the ball correctly there and fired underneath his foot. But it worked out OK. Morris gives it off to Jonathan Wright. He comes towards Gidley. He chips it over the top. Bowman is chasing the ball. Oh, don't tell me. Don't tell me he's done it. What do you want? Well, we're going to go upstairs to have a look. Let's I would be saying no. Score at first, Molly. My first impression is... It, he surely he couldn't have got there. He needed the ball to bounce up. The ball kicked on. Down that short side, Morris and Jonathan Wright. The chip. Barber's the only one there to reach. I think he puts it on his foot. That's all that stopped him from scoring a try is placing the ball on his own foot. the white line. There's no doubt about that. It does touch the ground before it touches his foot, which rules out him placing it on his foot. Is his hand still on the football? That's the only thing that we need to find out. But from there, it does look like it's still on the, on the ball. That angle there from that corner camera gives you every impression his hand is still on the ball. Benefit of the doubt. Let's take a look. Sean Hampstead, the video referee, says green lights. We've seen some remarkable put-downs in our time. 